In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the third Sunday of the blessed month of Tut, and this is the first Coptic month of the new Coptic year. And the story today, we all love hearing this story, the story of Zacchaeus. And we know when we were little kids, we loved to hear the story of Zacchaeus, and we know it by heart. But if we want to do some comparison quickly between the story of Zacchaeus and the st any other story in the Bible, we find so many times miracles uh, that was based on healing or raising from the dead, that people run to our Lord Jesus Christ when they have problems, when they have sickness, when they run out of food, these are the miracles that showed the greatness or the divinity or God being uh, in divinity or the power of his divinity is capable to raise the dead, to exchange water into wine or transform water into wine and to heal any sicknesses or to cast out any demons with the power of God. But today, the story is different. Zacchaeus was rich. He had no infirmity or any sicknesses. So he came today for one thing and he received another. He came just out of curiosity. He wanted to see who Jesus was. He heard so much about Jesus, our Lord, and he wanted to see him. Only see him. And when our Lord Jesus Christ passed, that way and he looked up at the tree the sycamore tree and he told him Zacchaeus come down for I must go to your house today and he received him in his house and our Lord Jesus Christ accepted his repentance so we saw the repentance of Zacchaeus that not so many people or stories seeked after or sought after so many times we even notice your prayers and my prayer. When we pray, what do we ask for? We ask for healings, for success, for a job, for a house, for a car, for a good friend, for you name it. But we don't, we don't ask for him personally to come and change as Zacchaeus did today and he received forgiveness of his sins and repentance that he offered today. And our Lord Jesus Christ in every story or every time he performs a miracle that people come to him for healing, he taught them something that he wants us to learn as well. Before he grant them their request, he says this, go, your sins are forgiven. Sin no more. Well, they're not coming for forgiveness of sins. They're coming to receive healing, for example. But our Lord Jesus always said, go, your sins are forgiven you. And that's the lesson. Which, what is more important? To receive forgiveness or a temporary healing? or a temporary raising from, raised from the dead, or a temporary uh, water into wine satisfy your needs. This is temporary. But our Lord Jesus Christ giving you the everlasting gift that is the forgiveness of your sins and my sins. And he's the only one that can give to us. The fruit of repentance. But before I go into the fruit of repentance, let's see... We know the hindrance of Zacchaeus. We know Z Zacchaeus was a short of stature. And the first thing he saw, because a big crowd, he saw this sycamore tree. And looking at the sycamore tree, he used it as a mean to climb and to be able to see Jesus from above. A prime spot to see our Lord Jesus passing by and we have 
sycamore trees on our way to be able to see Jesus. The sycamore tree could be a short prayer on the way, your Bible reading, a good deed to a friend, a phone call to someone, anything that takes you from this busyness of this life, this is a sycamore tree. Every time you spend that you want to see Jesus passing by, this is a sycamore tree. Closing a room and praying or reading the Word of God and meditating on the Word of God, this is a sycamore tree. And we do have them, but so many times we ignore them. And, and, and because of this crowd or the busyness that we live in, we hardly see him. And we hardly uh, spend the few minutes to be able to see him. Another thing the Bible mentioned today, it says about our Lord Jesus Christ that he, for he was going to pass that way. So Zacchaeus knew that our Lord Jesus is passing this way. So if he went in a different street, he wouldn't see our Lord Jesus Christ. But he knew that he was about to pass that way. So many times, we are far away or on ways or different ways and we expect our Lord Jesus Christ to come or pass that way and he will never pass that way. If you live in sin, he's not going to go there. You have to know where he is, which way he's going to pass by. Church is one way, coming to church, going to Sunday school, going to a meeting, praying, fasting. That's the way you expect to see him. But if we live in this world and living worldly and we expect to see him, well, you're going to wait a long time. We know where he's going to pass. Last thing I want to say, that the change as a fruit of repentance is, is needed that you offer fruit of repentance. Because so many times we feel like when we stop committing sins, this is repentance. This is not repentance. Repentance, two things. Stop sinning and do good things. Zacchaeus had this love of money. Repentance is not only to stop the love of money or loving money, start giving. And that's what he said. I will give half of my possessions to the poor and if ever collected any money, money by false accusation, I will repay for false. So it was not enough for him to stop loving the money and that's it. Because so many, so many times we feel like we, 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 we commend ourselves so many times that we, if we don't do sin, we're good. That's it. Enough. Enough. I'm happy. But that's a step one to stop sinning. Step two is to do good. Can you imagine? We go to school and you're asked at the end of the course, you take a test. You say, you know, I learned. I'm not going to the test in case I don't want to do anything, so I'm going to leave it blank. I'm going to leave my sheet or the exam blank, so this way I don't put anything wrong in it. Blank. What are you going to do? You're going to get zero. So repentance is a blank sheet of paper, but you need to put the right thing in the sheet of paper. And that in the test. That's what you're going to get graded, or your grades based on your uh, answers or the good deeds. So, as we always, or the fathers say, that is not, our Lord is not going to ask us how many times you sin. Uh, we live in sin. But how many times you try to repent and do good? There is a, a negative way or passive way of repentance when you stop sinning but not doing anything about it. That's passive repentance. 
But the positive one is to do good and to change. And every repentance has its fruit. Look at the Samaritan woman. She lived in sin, but right away when she confessed and she admitted his sins and repented, she became the first preacher about our Lord Jesus Christ. Come see, a man told me everything that I have done. Come and see. She preached. From a woman that lives in, 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 in behind closed doors and nobody, she doesn't want anyone to see her, into a preacher running in the town and saying, come see him, see our Lord Jesus. He told me everything. And that's the repentance, the true repentance. You have to show fruits for the repentance. Our Lord Jesus told us in the, in the book of Luke, I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. For you were bought at a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. But we have to give an account for our lives. Our bodies are temple of God. We have to give an account. May God give us to live the life of repentance and to follow the example of Zacchaeus as a repentant man or a penitent a man and to be ready to give an account for our lives and glory be to our God and forever and ever. Amen.